check it out. We have a whole alphabet of transforming letters. Let's see what they transform into. Let's start with the first letter of the alphabet, A. I wonder what it's going to transform into. We can see that it's some sort of creature because it has legs. Let's make sure to get all four of them. Oh, look at this. This part opens and swings around. And now we got a tail inside. And finally, we can rotate the head around. And just fix this just a bit. And there, we got our very own Stegosaurus. A plant-eating dinosaur with spikes on its back. A is for airplane. An airplane is a flying vehicle that can carry passengers through the air. The second letter of the alphabet is B. Let's transform it and find out what it turns into. I think I see a tail over here. It is. And here's the head. Let's see if I can rotate it up. There we go. And now this creature needs some legs, doesn't it? There we go. And oh look, it's got arms. Tiny arms. I wonder if that's a clue for what it could be. B transformed into a T-Rex, a meat-eating dinosaur that walked on two legs. B is for bubbles. Bubbles are fun to blow and pop. The third letter of the alphabet is C. Let's find out what it transforms into. I think these are supposed to be legs. Yeah, because that's a foot. Let's get this one. Now let's see what we got up here. Interesting. Oh, this is a tail. And this must be the head. Pop! Oh look, it even has little tiny arms right here. That's kind of cute. And it looks like we got ourselves a pteranodon. A pteranodon is a winged dinosaur that could fly. C is for cat. A cat is a furry friend that loves to be pet. Like this one named Jasper. Jasper loves to purr too. And he says hello. The next letter of the alphabet is D. Let's see what it transforms into. It looks like this is another four-legged one. So it's not going to be a T-Rex or a Pteranodon. And look at this. It has a neat little compartment here. And inside there are more parts to the creature. Here's the head and neck. And a tail. If I can get it out. There we go. Now we just close the compartment back up. And we have our very own Apatosaurus. An Apatosaurus is a long necked dinosaur that ate plants. D is for Dragon. A dragon is a fictional creature that can breathe fire. And the next letter of the alphabet is E. Now let's transform it. It looks like these two flaps fold over like this. And these pieces slide down to be legs. And the head is over here. And the tail is over here. Cool. Our E transformed into an Ankylosaurus, a heavily armored dinosaur that could use its tail as a weapon. E is for eggs. Baby birds hatch from eggs. The next letter of the alphabet is F. Let's see what F transforms into. Whoa, neat. These look like wings. Oh, I bet it's another flying dinosaur. Oh look, it has a cute little tail in the back. There. It looks like we have another pteranodon. This one has bigger wings than the other one. F is for fish. A fish is an animal that lives and breathes underwater. The next letter of the alphabet is G. Let's find out what it transforms into. Ooh, this piece is stuck. Oh, I got it. Looks like these are turning out to be legs and little feet here. Can't forget the front ones. And this compartment opens up in the back and inside there's a tail. A big one at that. And finally we need the head. Oh, and this one has big horns on it. 
I think this is a Triceratops, a three-horned dinosaur that ate plants. G is for girl. Girls are made of sugar and spice and everything nice. The next letter of the alphabet is H. Let's see what it transforms into. Hmm, I can't tell what we got here. This one's looking rather different. Well, these appear to be feet. And what's this? A compartment where the head is? Oh, and we flip it around and it's the chest. Oh, I know what this is. And it's not a dinosaur. It's a gorilla. A gorilla is a large ape that lives in the jungle. And they make sounds like <laughs> And H is for house. A house is a building where families can live. The next letter of the alphabet is I. Let's find out what it transforms into. There's a little compartment here, and inside we find the head of the creature. Now let's see if we can get the legs. These are gonna be the back legs. And now we can work on the front legs. All right, there we go. Now in the back we can get the tail. And this animal has antlers because it's a deer. Deer are a common woodland animal that eat plants. I is for ice cream. Ice cream is a yummy treat to have on a warm day. And the next letter of the alphabet is J. Let's transform it to see what it becomes. Ooh, it looks like this animal has sharp teeth. And a big long tail too. Now let's close these compartments back and work on the legs. Oh, it looks like these are gonna be short legs. So we got sharp teeth, Long tail and short legs. I wonder what that means. Now let's get to the other side here. And it looks like we have an alligator. An alligator is a reptile that's been on the earth for millions of years. J is for jump. Mario is jumping on the bed. Be careful, Mario. Okie dokie. And the next letter of the alphabet is K. Let's find out what it transforms into. All right, let's start by working on the legs. Ooh, this one's stuck. Ah, okay, there we go. Now for the legs on the right side. This cute little tail here. And finally the head. And look at that. We have a bull, a male cow. K is for kangaroo. A kangaroo is a marsupial that keeps its baby in a pouch. The next letter of the alphabet is L. Let's transform it to see what it becomes. Oh wow, its head is in this little compartment here. And check out these legs, they're really long. This must be a tall animal. Oop, we can't forget the tail. And it's a giraffe, a long-necked animal that can reach food high up into the trees. L is for lion. A boy lion has a mane, and a girl lion doesn't. The next letter of the alphabet is M. Let's see what it transforms into. It looks like these are gonna be the front legs, and over here are the back legs. What's this? It's not a tail. Oh, it's a trunk, and the tail's over here. And we got an elephant, the largest land animal in the world. M is for moose. A moose is the biggest member of the deer family and lives in cold climates. The next letter of the alphabet is N. Let's see, how do we transform this? Oh, this looks like a good place to start. It looks like this animal has big hind legs and smaller front legs. and a long tail too. And finally, there's the head. And we have a jaguar. A jaguar is a big wild cat that lives in the jungle. In is for nails. If you're feeling creative, you can paint your nails different colors. The next letter of the alphabet is O. Now let's transform it to see what it becomes. Oh wow, does this have a lot of legs? Wow, it does. Oh, I think I know what this is. It's a crab. Crabs are crustaceans that live in the water. O is for octopus. 
An octopus is a sea creature with eight tentacles. And the next letter of the alphabet is P. I wonder what it transforms into. Well, it looks like we already found the tail. Now let's see. Oh wow, this is interesting. I actually have no idea what this is yet. Is this the face? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a stingray. Stingray are fish closely related to sharks. P is for police car. Police cars have sirens. Our next letter of the alphabet is Q. Not many words use the letter Q, but let's find out what it transforms into. It looks like this is another weird looking creature. Oh look, there's a tail hidden in this compartment. That's pretty cute. And these look like they could be claws. I think they are. Oh wow, Q transformed into a lobster. A lobster is another kind of crustacean that lives in the water. Q is song. for Me quiet. Too. The next letter of the alphabet is R. Let's see what it becomes. Oh, it looks like this tail has two pieces to it. And I think we need to slide them together. There we go. Now over here, it looks like this animal has fins. It must be some kind of sea creature. Oh wow, look at that. It's a shark. Sharks are big predators that live in salt water. R is for raincoat. Let's put a raincoat on Peppa. Don't forget your hat. A raincoat can keep you dry while it rains. The next letter of the alphabet is S. Let's find out what it transforms into. This part opens here and inside, and inside there's an unusual head. Now let's lower this part here and I think we'll find the tail. Oh wow, it's kind of cute. Look at that, S transformed into a seahorse. The seahorse is a special kind of fish where the males give birth. S is for school bus. A school bus is a vehicle that takes kids to and from school. Our next letter of the alphabet is T. It looks like this letter has cute little eyes on it. Let's see what it transforms into. Whatever it is, it has a lot of tiny little tentacles. Hmm, I wonder. Do you have any guesses what it could be? Let's see if you're right. It looks like it's a squid. Did you guess correctly? A squid is a sea creature that can swim by squirting water out of its body. Neat, huh? T is for train. A train is a vehicle that goes along a track. The next letter of the alphabet is U. Now let's see what it transforms into. Whoa, that's interesting. I think this must be the tail. Oh, and these might be wings. I wonder if this is a kind of bird. Yep, and here are the feet. And finally, the head. And it looks like we have a chicken. A chicken is a common bird you can find on a farm. U is for ukulele. An ukulele is a Hawaiian instrument that makes beautiful sounds. The next letter of the alphabet is V. Let's find out what it transforms into. It looks like there's a little compartment here that we need to open. All right, got it. Oop, I think we're holding it upside down. Okay, there we go. Oh, another bird, because I see a beak in here. And it looks like the tail's over here. Whoa, cool. It looks like this one transformed into an eagle. An eagle is a large bird and the symbol of the United States. V is for van. A van is a vehicle that can hold many passengers. The next letter of the alphabet is W. These parts here fold out. Then on the other side, we'll pull these flaps out. And I think they're supposed to be... And inside here, we have the head of the animal. Oh, I think I know what it is. Let's just get the feet and it'll be done. There, we have a peacock. A peacock is a large bird with beautiful feathers. W is for witch. A witch is a woman who can cast magic spells. But don't worry, they're not real. The next letter of the alphabet is X. Let's transform it to see what it becomes. Oh, this looks like it could be some kind of insect. I'm still not sure what, though. Oh, I think this is a tail. Yeah, it is. 
And these are legs. And that's the head. And now these are wings. And we've got our very own dragonfly. Dragonflies are insects that have been around for 300 million years. X is for xylophone. You play a xylophone with a mallet. The next letter of the alphabet is Y. Now let's start transforming it. It looks like there's something inside here. Oh, I think it's a tail. Now let's close it back. And over here, ooh, some claws. I wouldn't want to be pinched by this creature. It looks like this creature has many legs. Let's get the ones over here and I think we'll be done. And Y is transformed into a scorpion. Scorpions are arachnids with stinging tails. Yuck. Y is for yellow. We can use a yellow crayon to draw a heart. And the last letter of the alphabet is Z. Let's find out what it transforms into. Oh wow, it looks like this creature has big long arms. And a strange looking head. Here's the tail over here. Now let's get the arms straightened up here. One more on this side. And finally we need the legs. And it looks like our letter Z transformed into a praying mantis. My favorite insect, because they look so amazing. Z is for zipper. A zipper can keep your coat on tight. And that makes all 26 letters of the alphabet. Thanks for watching.